points. Yeah, I see. Ooh, like all those services are so fucking expensive. They, like jack up the price by like kind of fifteen percent or something. And then they charge you with, like fees and uh, I don't know whatever else on top of that, which I don't really understand. And it's like okay, so you're already like charged like I don't know. Let's say you like try to buy a McChicken or something from McDonald's. It's like about a dollar twenty. They'll add on like I don't know. 50 cents to it already, or like an, an extra dollar, so now you're paying like two dollars for like a basic ass sandwich, and then they still charge you like a fucking um, service fee on top of whatever thing you're using, and then they expect you to tip the driver and everything, it's like okay, it's like this is insanely expensive now. Like I, like, I feel bad for, like, the drivers, because, like, after all this, I'm like, I feel like they should just be paying you with all this service fee I'm paying, like, I don't know, I end up, like, if you just buy, like, a McChicken, right, like, 220 already for just, like, McDonald's upcharging for you to use that service, and then, like, a bunch of service fee for whatever thing you're using, Uber Eats or DoorDash, or, I don't know what else, Yelp may have one, I guess, that's, like, two, three dollars or some percentage of that. And then, like, the driver fee, and then you pay for the fucking tip, and it's like, okay, for this one dollar meal, I'm, I'm paying to pay, like, ten to twelve dollars. Well, like, there was this, uh, DoorDash controversy, like, so, like, DoorDash had this, like, very, like, confusing policy that's not very well explained at the time. And basically, like, how I understand is, like, they will, like, DoorDash will, at the time at least, give you, like, a percentage, like, a, a guaranteed pay. Like, let's say the guarantee pays, like, $10, for example. Um, if, like, the um, customer does not tip at all, DoorDash will cover that fee and tip the driver, like, that $10 of guaranteed pay. But if the customer did tip, let's say I tip $2... Now DoorDash will pay only eight dollars for that guaranteed pay, but let's say I am I'm like a super generous person, or I, I let's say before that like and then let's say as a kind of customer I I tip them ten dollars exactly, then DoorDash pays you like zero dollars, um, and then alternatively like if I'm super generous I pay over ten dollars in tip for whatever reason, then DoorDash will only give you, I think three of those dollars or something like that or like i think you get th th the full 13 actually but like what's confusing is like that guarantee that part where you're underneath that threshold like how it varies depending on um how much the customer pays and like the narrative at the time was like they were trying i don't know why they they spun this narrative exactly um but it was basically like oh D doordash is taking the tip that you're giving to drivers when it's kind of like this kind of guaranteed pay promotion thing that they're doing to get drivers onto the platform. So as an aftermath about what that, like I think sometime last year, they basically removed the guaranteed pay. So now I think drivers are just not getting money. And if you don't get tipped, then you're just getting like base pay, I guess. I don't know how it works exactly. So it ends up being worse off for the driver than it is before. But they're already like trying to rip you off with like these ex I don't know, exorbitant service fees, which I don't really understand. <laughs>